Hey, what's up guys? Roland Wolf here. Just going to get into a trade recap from yesterday and I made about $15,000, which actually brought me to over $300,000 in profits for the year, which is just amazing. I mean, if you would have told me a year ago that this is where I'd be, there's no way I would have believed you, but I've grinded super hard, uh, late night studying, preparing, um, researching, and then get a couple hours of sleep and wake up early in the morning and do it all over again. Um, but it's all been worth it. It's definitely all been worth it. And I just have to give a quick shout out to Tim Sykes. Um, without finding him, there's, you know, there's, there's a very good possibility I wouldn't be doing this. I'd be doing what I was doing before. And so I'm super grateful for him, for his teachings and guidance. And, and it's been amazing. So that being said, I'll go ahead and get into the trade recap for you. And this trade is actually the one that brought me over $300,000 and it was after hours yesterday. And this is HMNY and all of you should know this one, obviously, um, unless you're living in a cave somewhere, but, but you can see it's, I mean, it's been a monster move from the twos all the way up to $39 yesterday. And I think it's the biggest runner this year, maybe the biggest runner since dries last year, which was everyone knows dries too. So. Uh, similar similar psychology behind this this chart, and I didn't play any of it, only because when you go back in the history, you can see every spike that's happened over the last, you know, several several months or a year even has been just completely rejected, and and it's been you know a slam dunk short up until now, and they came out with some news. Um, obviously, people liked it. But the reason I didn't play it is because when you go back, I mean, if you're looking at the first week of this move, um, even the first four days, I, you know, to me, this was just completely overextended already. And then you get this first red day in here, which sucks in shorts. And of course, I mean, that's one of the highest odds patterns that there is, is the first red day for shorts. So, so when that didn't happen, obviously, when it didn't come down the next day, you created this nice squeeze here to the 950. Um, and it's been so volatile. It's been, I mean, it's a scary stock to play. And then you get the second red day in here and for sure, everyone's thinking that that's the top, but instead it does this and so on and so forth up to 14. And this is basically short squeeze. I mean, it's just, you know, shorts squeezing each other. Um, then you get another red day. Now that definitely looks like a top to me. And I was thinking the same thing. I'm, I mean, that's, that's a great short right there, but that's what created this move, which I mean, the last three days, four days has just been incredible um, from 16 all the way up to a high of 39. And yesterday it actually did the most volume it's done this whole run. It did um, about 24 million in volume. That's like a billion, that's like a billion dollars in dollar volume. I mean, just massive volume. So, so my trade actually came in on this day and you would, and normally I would never buy anything in this region, but but we got this after hours panic yesterday and I'll get to the minute chart here. This is after hours. So this was yesterday. You can see it double topped up here in the high 38s, 39 area. And, but it still finished green on the day and it was still pretty decently strong. Um, I mean, it did finish about five or $6 off its high, but, but after hours you got this random not random, obviously the stock's overextended, but you got this crazy after hours drop from 32 to 22. So, I mean, 30% in the matter of six or seven minutes after hours. And it, it wasn't, I mean, it was, that's decent volume here. I mean, it did over the six or seven minutes, uh, about a hundred thousand in volume or something like that, something close to that. And when the stock trades a billion dollars in dollar volume, uh, throughout the course of the day, and then drops 30% on 100,000 shares. That's the only reason that I was looking for this dip buy after hours. And you can actually see my buys and sells at the bottom of this, but but I ended up taking a position on this first green candle after this uh, after this uh, gigantic drop. And I bought some at 24.75 and some at 25. So I didn't quite catch the bottom. But if you were watching this, the spread was, I mean, it was 
over a dollar at times uh, for a couple seconds there. It was really crazy, crazy spread um, due to it being after hours and being so illiquid. But, but I went ahead and took a position. Definitely not the safest trade, but but it kind of was. It kind of felt like a pump and dump, basically. It kind of felt like dip buying a, the panic on a pump and dump, which I've done a video on uh, before. I'll post a link to that as well. And and I got in here twenty four seventy five and twenty five. I grabbed a thousand shares. I'm sorry, two thousand shares. Um, and and obviously I did have to sit through some pain, but it's not as bad as it looks. I mean, I ended up right in here. The spread was still pretty funky. Um, once again, not the safest trade, but then I got this nice little pop and I sold right into these two green candles right off the bat. I offloaded, um, I think like a thousand shares or something just to make myself, uh, just to, to lessen the risk. Um, I was down several thousand dollars on this trade at one point. But, but I did sell into this pop quickly, and then for the rest of this move back up to twenty nine dollars. So we're talking, you know, five, four dollars a share or so. Um, I just sold the rest of it into this little pop, and in the matter of less than ten minutes, I made five thousand dollars, and wiped my hands clean and walked away. And that's the last I was thinking about this stock. Uh, it was definitely scary, scary after hours dip by. But like I said, uh, just reading the situation, it had done a billion in dollar volume and then 100,000 tanks at $10. Um, there was sure to be some covering here and and some other dip buyers. So, so that was this trade. It worked out really well. Um, and it brought me over 300 in profit, at $300,000 in profits for the year. So it's, it's pretty awesome. Um, I actually also played it today. Um, and today was was the big tank day with real volume. You know, this was kind of artificial, not artificial, but but it was to me it was a signal that this was going to happen today for sure. And it's likely the end of this for now. I mean, this thing is was bound to come down. And we'll get into one more thing. Um, so we'll get into we'll actually get into my overnight holds for tonight quickly. While I'm at it and you can see my positions here um, I am long all the basically all the Bitcoin penny stocks tonight BTCS BTSC GAHC and MGTI and I actually bought all of these this morning like first thing when when I got up and checked the computer I saw Bitcoin had finally broken 5,000 which was um, let's see if we get into the daily chart which was a major level of resistance. And you can see it reached 5,000 back here, back in August, and then tanked all the way back down to 2,900. Um, I mean, a huge drop. And you can see today, it's been grinding up. And in fact, I bought BTSC um, three days ago, but ended up selling it yesterday uh, for a small loss just because I got bored with it and thought, you know what, maybe it's going to reject this 5,000. Um, but instead, I woke up to this and I took, I took positions in, in all the Bitcoin penny stocks prior to them even really popping. I think they were about 10% up maybe. Um, and, and I was down a couple hundred dollars all day, but sure enough, end of day, we got nice pops on all of them. And, and I'm sitting pretty for tomorrow. I'm up $6,700 going into the morning and I'm expecting them all to run pretty decently. So we'll be watching Bitcoin stocks tomorrow. Um, on a side note, I got a new car last week actually. And I, I had this post on Instagram where I'm offering a free one-on-one -on -one live trade webinar to whoever can guess the make and model. And I'll actually be revealing this on Monday, not, not this week, but on Monday. And so, and there's been quite a few comments. Um, and so far, only one person has actually guessed. And that was actually Tim Sykes. And he texted me with the guess and he was absolutely right. Um, so I said I'd give a hint on this video on Instagram. And, and I can tell you that it's none of these. Um, I've only made $300,000 and I've got three kids. Well, I have two kids. I've got a baby on the way. 
So there's no way I'm buying a Lambo. Um, there's no way I'm grabbing a Ferrari. There's no way I'm grabbing a six, six figure car, uh, particularly with two kids and one on the way. So, so I can tell you that it's none of the cars that are on here. Um, it may not even just be a car, but it also was not shipped. Um, this is misleading. This was kind of a joke. Definitely this statement here of my dream car is being shipped is not completely accurate and that's all i'll say for now i'll be doing another video tomorrow and maybe i'll drop some more hints there but but on top of that on top of a live one-on-one -on -one trading webinar with me um tim sykes is actually sweet in the offer he's going to be doing he's going to be giving away how to make millions uh, which is a sweet guide it's actually the DVD that that really started me off on the right foot once I decided to take this thing seriously. And so he'll be giving out how to make millions. Uh, check us out on Instagram and go ahead and take your best guess. Um, and if you get it, you'll get a free trading webinar with me and you'll get a free copy of how to make millions, which is which is an awesome guide. Anyways, guys, so go ahead and go ahead and do that. And also one last thing on Bitcoin is I did a long, I think I did a 20 minute video on this exact subject and on how to capitalize on sector momentum, particularly with Bitcoin and how to trade Bitcoin penny stocks, which, which is the, I mean, that's the only reason that I'm sitting like this tonight on 6730 is because I have done this several times in the past every time bitcoin runs i've made many thousands of dollars by buying these really really junky bitcoin related penny stocks so i'll post a link to that video above as well and and i would check that out too because it'll probably happen again sometime in the future um and tomorrow should be a good day it's actually i mean it's setting new highs as we speak so Anyways, have a good one, guys, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. My name is Tim Sykes, and I teach people to trade stocks. I am a self-made multimillionaire. So this is the ideal trade that I'm going to talk about. I want you guys to understand every single aspect of this trade. 